Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can adjust the visibility of any element in Android Studio. So for example, see what I am going to do is now once I click on show, the element will show up and once I click on hide, it will go invisible. So this is a image view. Now it can also be a text view or whatever you want. I'm going to show you the procedure. Okay. So without any further ado, let's get started with the video. My name is Samhian Savant. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so let's start with a new project. Take the empty activity, name the application, I'll name it show and hide. Okay, so this is the Java activity and this is the XML activity. Now, first of all, let's go to design. Okay, now I don't want this text view. Now I'm going, what I'm going to do is I'll give it a background of night sky. Okay, I'll take two buttons show and hide and here I'll keep an UFA so that when I click show it will show up and when I hide it it will go invisible okay so first of all let's bring in those resources in the drawable file now I've got them both here a UFO and a night sky I'll just copy them control C and I'll paste them here select drawable hit OK again OK so both of them are here night and UFO now let's go to the code first of all let's apply the background Android background night see the background has been changed now let's bring in the image view of the UFO see here UFO hit ok adjust the size now if in case if you want both of these images the links are in the description you can get them from there okay so this is the constraint layout let's bring the buttons down here Now, in case if you don't know how to work with constraint layouts, there's a video up here. You can watch that. Now, if you know how to work with constraint layouts, you'll know that you have to align the elements or else when you uh, run the application, either it won't show up or they'll go like this. Okay. So, I'll just keep it in the center. And now, let's align these. I'll center it horizontally in parent and I'll center it vertically in parent and then I'll bring it up here in its perfect position okay you have aligned the image then goes the buttons center them vertically both of them bring them down here okay from the right and from the left okay so we are done with the alignment now let's name both of these buttons first button we'll name it show show hit enter second button we'll name it hide easy now once we have named both of these now all three of these will need ids so when we work in the java activity they'll be useful so go to the image give it an id ufo img hit enter hit yes okay next is the show button so we'll give show btn okay hit enter and for hide hide btn hit enter done so we have applied ids to all three of these let's check it in the split tab see id 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 so now we are done with the xml tab okay we have an image we have two buttons which we can once we press it will go invisible now to apply all of that we'll have to go to the java activity here first of all we'll have to we'll need access to the image right so what we're going to do is here image view space let's name the object image view equals to first of all casting image view and next find view by id r dot id dot the ID of the image, right? What was it? UFO image, right? So UFO IMG and here a semicolon. Now we don't need this thing here, the declaration. So what we are going to do is we are going to select it, cut it, control X. We'll go down here, 
we'll paste it control v and we'll select the object name copy it bring it up here and semicolon so this is the definition this is the declaration next thing that we are going to do is we'll need two functions to show and hide right so once we press on the buttons it will either show the image or hide the image so we'll have to create a view here so public void first of all let's create show okay and inside the braces we'll write view space view simple open the braces done now let's copy this whole thing paste it again down here and this time we'll, we are going to name it hide done so show and hide two functions are created now we have an image view we have access to that image so what we are going to do is we are going to use set visibility so image view dot set visibility and inside that we are going to write view dot visible or invisible so once we click show it should be visible right so type visible here copy this thing same thing down here okay but this time it should go invisible right so invisible as simple as it can be okay so we have created two of these functions now once we have created these functions we should uh, apply it to the image right so once you click on the image right it should get applied so let's go to the xml file here click on show and here you'll see on click okay here so click on this arrow it will show up the two functions now we have selected the show button right select show okay and for hide select hide then so that's almost it okay now let's do a few ui changes so it looks good okay we'll go to values we don't need a action bar here up there right so let's go to styles select no action bar done and let's change the primary dark color to whatever the color of the sky is so i already know the color i've copied it in the clipboard okay so let's see the clipboard we must have it here yeah this one paste it here and we have the color okay now the app is ready let's run the application okay so hit the run application button and here we have the emulator let it take its time let it install the application let it build the gradle we'll wait for that zero errors as we can see now the application will run okay looks good we have the ufo we have two of the buttons aligned here now let's see if it works so it's already showing so let's hit hide and as you can see it's gone now let's see if show is working show and it's back so you can keep playing with that okay so as you can see we have successfully implemented the show and hide buttons in this application so that's how you can show or hide any element inside android studio now in case if you want to show or hide any text all you have to do is just go back here if in, let's say this is text right so go to the java activity here instead of image view you will have text view same thing here text view text view text view all right and obviously inside here you'll have a text view and you'll have to give it an id same procedure okay so that's how you can implement the show and hide button in android studio so that's it for the video guys now if you like this video if you find this video useful hit that like button share it with your friends who don't know this function so that they can implement it without any problems and also consider subscribing to the channel i post android studio videos and tech related stuff vlogs gaming and all that stuff so yeah thank you for watching the video bye bye